You know what it's like every time you get your hair trimmed? Triggered. Trauma. I say dust the tips. She gets us a happy and this is what we get. All the growth is gone. Hey, it's A back on your screen with another one. Hope you're all well. Wait a minute. Gotta stay healthy. Hair growth starts from the inside. This kale though. Should have added more mango and ginger. In this video, what we're gonna do is DIY the situation. Originally, I wanted to do tape-ins. My stylist said, mm -mm, your hair can't handle that. She suggested sew-ins. I'm not really about that. I wear my hair natural most of the time and sew-ins is too much of a commitment. So I figured, bing, how do we get from this to this? Clip-ins, super easy. I know they're a throwback, but hey, if it works, it works. If you want to see how I did this, and if I can and I can't see well, so can you. Hit the like button and let's get into it. Let's get this Rapunzel. Choose hair that is closest in color and texture to your own. This is going to make it easier to blend later on. Here's the other supplies you'll need. The hair I showed you before, we're going to double up since it's kind of thin. Thread, clips, needle, dental floss, I'll explain later, and scissors. First thing you're gonna do is take the hair, fold it as many times to get the desired density you'd like. Once you've measured it against the mid part of your head, you're gonna snip it. Here's my Legally Blind hack to threading a needle you can't see. You're gonna take the dental floss with the thread and loop it through the eye of the needle. See, so easy. Once you've secured it a couple times, you're gonna add a clip. Don't do what I did, which is sew it upside down and inside out. Once you got it the right way, it's so easy. Just sew it a couple times. Something about sewing is so therapeutic, minus the poking myself and pricking myself every other time because I can't see. But still, it's a vibe for me. You're gonna do this until you feel like the clip is secure and then make sure that it stays in place by knotting the thread on itself a couple times. It was late, so I said, this is enough for one day. The next day I measured out the side pieces, which are gonna be less wide, but twice as thick. I repeated all the steps I showed you guys the day before. When that's done, now it's time to install the hair. I like adding my hair two thirds down. This way, there's no peekaboos, it stays discreet, and you can use more of your own hair to cover the bundles and waifs. This is what the hair looks like as is. It's not horrible, but it's also not great. If you wanna really make the sleek look hit, you're definitely gonna have to do a couple cuts to blend and layer it. I didn't wanna do all of that, so instead what I went and did was I took out my curling iron, which is on its last leg, and I blended my hair to the hair extension. It's the loose waves for me. They're just so effortless and they blend with your hair so easily. I mean, even though I'm not a 1B, I'm definitely not a 2 either, but you can't tell me nothing. Hey, I'm here for the texture matching my texture though. I tell you, bump a quick curl, no one's gonna clock it. This is the final result. I was wearing them straight all week. Well, if you watch the vlogs, I wear them for a bit, take them out, have one piece hanging in. I don't know what I'm doing. But the point of the story is, these are so easy. If I can, like I said at the top of this, so can you. So if you wanna get some added length and definitely the volume, try it out and let me know down below how it goes. If you haven't already subscribed for more, hit the like if you like this type of video. And until next time, stay safe, stay sane, stay blessed. Love and later. So easy, 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 lemon squeezy, easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Is that what they say?